Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just passed 930 subs. I appreciate your guys' support so much, and I hope I can continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, Villanova basketball has been quiet on the transfer portal front for a little while now. They got a couple big names that have already committed to Villanova, but Kyle Neptune wasn't done yet because Lance Ware, the former Kentucky forward, has decided to transfer to to the Villanova Wildcats. I'm going to go over why I think Lance Ware could have an impact for Villanova next year and where I think Villanova sits right now in the standings potentially for the Big East next season. Now Lance Ware, he is a guy that was a former four-star recruit. So coming out of high school, a lot of people thought Lance Ware could have success at the college level. And he decided to take a chance and go to the Kentucky Wildcats and John Calipari, who has taken so many players to the NBA. Granted, most of those players were five stars, but still Lance Ware was a talented enough player that John Calipari wanted him to be on his team and potentially have success for the Kentucky. But unfortunately for Lance Ware, it just never came to pass. It never happened for him. He never got into a groove and he never got a lot of playing time. And the most important thing for a player, especially a player that is struggling and does not have a lot of confidence out on the floor, is you need playing time to be able to play through your mistakes and improve as a player. And the season that Lance Ware played the most for Kentucky was unironically his freshman year. And he only averaged two points per game. And his minutes decreased year over year. And he's now going to be a senior this year academically, but he will have two years of eligibility left due to the virus back in 2020. But still, Lance Ware is a guy that probably should have transferred out of Kentucky after his sophomore year. I don't think most players should transfer after one year and they're not playing that much to go to another school. But when you've been out of school for two and going on three years and you're not playing, it's not a good decision to stay at that school because you're never going to get playing time. If you're not going to get playing time now and Lance Ware wasn't improving at Kentucky, and you know the way Kentucky recruits and they bring in so many talented players with John Calipari, Lance Ware was never going to play. So he probably should have transferred out of Kentucky a year before this and maybe joined Villanova the year before that. But still, it is what it is. He's on Villanova now. And I think this is a good move for Lance Ware more than it is for Villanova because Lance Ware is a guy that needs to play. He's a former four-star recruit. He's a six foot nine, 235 pound forward. And he is a guy with talent, but again, he's never been able to showcase it. And he only averaged two points per game, two rebounds and .6 assists for Kentucky this past season in under 10 minutes per game, but he shot 65.8% from the field. That's not too bad. That's a pretty good percentage, but unfortunately for Lance Ware, he's never been able to stretch his game out to the three-point line. He's never even attempted a three, and at the free throw line, he was only 7-21 to this past season at Kentucky. 33%, that's horrible, and he shot 55% in his freshman year, but Lance Ware is definitely a guy that needs to improve at the free throw line and potentially be able to expand his game more out to the mid-range and the three-point line if he wants to be a guy that goes to the next level because as is, he's not going to get it done. But the most important thing for Lance Ware is he needs to play. So he's going from Wildcat to Wildcat. And I think the Villanova Wildcats are the better option for Lance Ware because he at least will be able to play. Will he start? I'm not sure if he will start because Villanova does have some solid players returning on their team next season. They brought in some talented transfers already before Lance Ware. So I don't know if he's going to start, but he will play more than he did at Kentucky. And he will be closer to home because he's from Camden, New Jersey, which Villanova being in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love, I'm sure Lance Ware where we'll love being a lot closer to home than where he was at at Kentucky. Maybe that will help boost his confidence. I've seen a lot of players that move back closer to home have a lot more success than they were at their previous school. So maybe for Lance Ware, this could be a really good move for him to be able to get more playing time, potentially improve his game, and maybe have a shot at a professional career after his time at Villanova. I think this is a perfect move for Lance Ware. Now, is this a good move for Villanova to add Lance Ware? I don't see it as a problem because if Lance Ware was going to be a guy that Villanova was bringing in to start or potentially have a massive role next season, I don't know if this would be a great move because of the fact that he's not a proven guy. But Villanova's not need Lance Ware to be that kind of player. So I think for Villanova, adding a guy that played in the SEC, that has experience under John Calipari, that was a former four-star recruit, that has talent, and a guy coming from Kentucky, I think it's just a good move all around for Villanova. I don't think he's going to be the most consequential player on the roster next season, but I do think Lance Ware could have a positive impact for Villanova. Because looking at the rest of the Villanova roster, they've got guys like Caleb Daniels and Brandon and Slater that are both gone. Those are both tough losses. They were solid players on Villanova's team this past season, but they're out of eligibility. Cam Whitmore, he's going to the NBA draft. A fantastic player that played for Kyle Neptune this past season as a freshman. He was a five-star recruit that Jay Wright recruited, but he is gone, and deservedly so because he was a really talented player. But Kyle Neptune has replaced that talent because Hakeem Hart, the transfer forward from Maryland, is transferring to Villanova. And I think he will be the starting power forward for Villanova next season, which is why I think that Lance Ware can come off the bench 
bench, maybe learn behind Hakeem Hart, and then maybe the next season after that, Lance wears final season of eligibility. He could be a starter for Villanova, but Hakeem Hart, he's a solid addition. He brings a lot of heart and hustle akin to his name, and I think he should have a lot of success for Villanova next year. And also, TJ Bomba, the former Washington State guard, he transferred to Villanova, and he's a really talented player, and I think TJ Bomba could be a guy that potentially has NBA aspirations still at this stage of his career. He's a really solid player, and he can shoot threes as well. Eric Dixon, he's back as the starting center for Villanova. He was a really solid player, and Justin Moore, he's back as well, along with Mark Armstrong and Chris Archidiakono, all guards in the backcourt, and Jordan Dumont is an unranked high school player that's coming in. He's a six foot eight forward. I think he could have some success learning behind Lance Ware and also Hakeem Hart. So looking at the Villanova starting five, I really like the potential of a Mark Armstrong, Justin Moore, TJ Bamba, Hakeem Hart, and Eric Dixon starting five. I think it has the potential to be a competitive team in the Big East next season with Lance Ware and Chris Archidiakono and Jordan Dumont, some of these other players coming off the bench. I feel like Villanova could have some success. They have some holes on their roster. I don't think their whole entire roster is filled. They have a couple scholarships left that potentially Kyle Neptune could use and probably should use if he can still get some talented players that are left out there in the portal, which there are some. Obviously, you still got Caleb Love back in the portal. Don't know if Villanova will be an option there. More than likely not, but still there's some guys left in the portal. The transfer portal has been crazy in college basketball, but Villanova, they definitely took advantage of it. Kyle Neptune did a good job bringing in Hakeem Hart and TJ Bomba, who I think will both start for Villanova next year and help Villanova be competitive next season in the Big East. Lance Ware, I think it's a great move for him to transfer to Villanova and be a quality depth piece off the bench and get some more minutes and maybe improve his confidence at Villanova. But will Villanova be a top half team in the Big East? I'm not sure because the conference is loaded for next season. Xavier, Providence, Marquette, Creighton has some roster turnover. They might still be really good. UConn was national champions last year and you got St. John's building over there with Rick Pitino, Ed Cooley, and Georgetown. It's going to be a tough league, but I think Villanova could potentially be a tournament team next year and Kyle Neptune has a really solid team with some pretty good starters that I think could compete in the Big East for sure next season but Lance Ware he might not be the biggest addition but I think for Lance Ware it's a great move to go to Villanova be on a quality team potentially make an NCAA tournament next year and be a part of a team that he could play some quality minutes for and maybe help Villanova be a bit better of a team next season if Lance Ware wasn't on the team. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content like this video down below comment down below what you think about Lance Ware transferring from the Kentucky Wildcats to the Villanova Wildcats and whether you think Lance Ware could improve and be a quality player for Villanova next season. How good of a job you think Kyle Neptune is doing with the Villanova Wildcats roster for next season? Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I will see you next time.